In this presentation, I will cover the topic conversion of edge parameters. First, I will explain what do we mean by conversion of edge parameters and then I will explain why we need the conversion. Let's take one example for this purpose. Let's say we have edge parameters for common emitter transistor. This means we have H I E, H R E, H F E and H O E. These are the H parameters for common emitter configuration. And by using these parameters, we need to find out the parameters for common base configuration. So we need to convert these parameters to the parameters in case of common base configuration. This means we have to find out H I B, H R B, H F B and H O B. These are the H parameters for common base configuration. In the same way you can find out H parameters for common collector configuration using the H parameters of common emitter configuration. Now why we need the conversion of H parameters? The transistor manufacturers generally provide the H parameters of a transistor in common emitter mode. Common emitter mode is the most widely used mode of transistor and the transistor manufacturers generally provide the parameters for the common emitter mode only and to find out the H parameters for common base mode and the common collector mode certain formulas are needed. These formulas are approximate formulas and the derivation is not important in this course. The derivation of the formulas are not important. So I will directly write down the conversion formulas. We will start with we will start with common emitter to common base. I have H I E H R E H F E and H O E and I need to find out H I B H R B H F B and H O B in terms of these parameters. I will first write down the formula of H I B the input impedance. It is equal to H I E divided by 1 plus H F E. H R B is equal to H I E multiplied with H O E divided by 1 plus H F E minus H R E. Then I will write down the formula of H F B H F B the forward current gain for the common base configuration. It is equal to minus HFE divided by 1 plus HFE and the final one is HOB. It is equal to HOE divided by 1 plus HFE. So this is the set of formulas required to convert the H parameters in common emitter mode to the common base mode. Now we will convert the H parameters from common emitter to common collector mode. H I C is equal to H I E. H R C is equal to 1 minus H R E. H F C is equal to minus inside the bracket 1 plus H F E. And the final one H O C is equal to H O E. So this is the set of formulas for the conversion of H parameters in common emitter mode to the common collector mode. You can also find out the set of formulas for conversion of H parameters from common base configuration to the common emitter configuration. Let's see what are the formulas. H I E in terms of H parameters in common base configuration is equal to H I B divided by 1 plus H F B H R E is equal to H I B multiplied with H O B divided by 1 plus H F B minus H R B. This the third one H F E is equal to minus H F B divided by 1 plus H F B and the last one H O E 
is equal to h o b divided by 1 plus h f b you can easily find out this formulas using this four formulas now let's move to the homework problem in this homework problem in this homework problem you need to find out h f c the forward current gain in case of common collector configuration in terms of in terms of common base h parameters so this is the homework problem and uh, i will give you one small hint to find out hfc in terms of common base h parameters you know how to convert the common emitter parameters to the common collector parameters we have seen how to convert the common emitter parameters to the common collector parameters and we also know we also know how to convert the common base parameters to the common emitter parameters we have seen how to convert the common base parameters to common emitter parameters so the first thing you need to do is to find out h f e and by using this you can easily find out h f c because h f c is equal to negative of 1 plus h f e you already have h f e in terms of common base parameters and in this way you will have your answer once you have your answer post it in comment section and i think we made some mistake here this is the conversion of common base configuration to the common emitter configuration this is ce so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section the derivation of these parameters are not important so simply try to remember them and if there is any use use them directly so i will end this lecture here see you in the next one